the back. But you could probably guess which game by now. It's all I seem to be streaming at the moment. Also, can we just talk about Bella Ramsey? Just, do you know? This radio is really cold. Oh, so I'm near my bed like I normally am, and my radio is really cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't see. Where's my torch? It's sealed. That's it. Oh, go back. Moss. Curious. Oops. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Lumos. I'm not alone here. Can you be very much correct? Oh, they still want me to bloody walk as we're walking down.
Sorry. Oh, is this for? Lumos. 
witch's final resting place. Lord Gog said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead app. Better show this to Lord Gog. Hmm. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good, there's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. You've made a great... There they are. The Ashwinders. <laughs> no!
Now you've gone too far. Guys, I had a combo of a hundred and I got a trophy for it. I was, I was saying to myself when I saw the trophy, like, yeah, I'm never getting that. But then I got it. Sorry, let's not do that. That's it. This is for Rookwood. No more happy days for you. Come on, you're afraid to fight back. You're going to regret that. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Oh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. No, just buy this. Bye. I don't like spiders. Spiders are scary.
What do you have in store for me this time? Send it. Lumos.
Handy resource indeed. Your field guide. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see... We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Hi, sorry, I got distracted. Are you very, very chill to do? No, I'm the. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, sorry, I'm beginning to get a reputation. I had as a pretty deep puff scheme. I had a pretty deep puff scheme. Puff scheme, dunking. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. 
Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm... Blah, 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 blah. It's a... I... Very well. If I... Grand. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Actually, I might keep this. No, I'm, I'm of nice. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's King Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show everyone how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I was going to be I know I will. I'm a Hufflepuff, so I can't Thank be mean. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff's King Dunking for me. I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff, so I can't really be mean. Well, I'm not my character, the Hufflepuff. Because I made them into a Hufflepuff before a challenge, or for a trophy, which I've already got. But, you know. I wonder where my other friend is. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Thank you, guys. No, no, no. Oh, did they just join? Who joined? Yeah. Sorry. I recommend Grey's Anatomy, by the way, guys. It's really good. But if you're like someone that got a very strong stomach, I wouldn't recommend it. Because it's got a lot of things in there that might make you want to throw everything quite strong to make. Or if you don't like blood. If you don't like blood, then stop watching it. Because there's a lot of blood. Where is my friend? Price on the broom upgrade for you. I Almost truly out. appreciate all of your help. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races no. then. I'm not getting distracted by Kitty. Okay, fine. I can't go that myself. Look at that little kitty! That's so okay. Stop it! No, I don't want to follow the butterflies. Have I got all of these? Our oh, hold map. I'm trying to find all the flu powders. It's for a trophy. Don't ask. Also, it'll be really handy if I can get all the flu powders. I've always said that travel broadens, broadens the mind. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I need to sell some things, that's the reason I went to Hogsmeade. Oh. I'm going to sell that anywhere here where I can sell things or buy things and then sell. No? That's a bit boring. Uh, Alright, let's go back to no, Hogsmeade. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that's a different potion so let's go to there. 
it's any more cozy than Hogsmeade. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. If I was going to work, Echo, stop. I forgot which one that one was. This one. Okay, so the house one. What was it? Yeah, so I want to keep this one and then get rid of the school. So I just keep it on. Then it what can I do for you today? Here. I'll just get this one. A wise decision. Yeah. Thank you. And then we I can hope to see you again. And then we can take it off. There you go. Nice to see you, my young friend. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again. Sorry, his voice is so loud. Contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll more as we walk? Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or shapeshifter, if you will, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigoise. A demigoise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are oh, demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play of my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, 
I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. The faculty tower? I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh, you needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Hmm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about... Alahamora? Curfew? Ah, oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. All the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now... You'll find one statue in the Prefect's bathroom, and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Must be the prefect's bathroom. on account of my venomous tentacular not at the moment no plenty of other perils and... well i suppose i should begin my rounds now i suppose professor black knows best but the students are terribly disappointed about quidditch being cancelled huh. i had planned to grab a few
Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped! An excellent start! Uh, if we... I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your... assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this issue. When mentor and student must be chosen. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. And she hasn't been herself so Alright, I'd like to take you up to the forest to visit I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favourites. Splashing, say no more. Say no more, say no more, say no more. I'm going to do the art. I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Tricky after all, Merlin. What message? I haven't got my phone on me. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
difficult to see it on this. No, I, I honestly haven't been on my phone. I have been on my phone today, but my phone's on my desk, and I'm not on my desk at the moment. But I haven't seen it. You'd know if I was it was an answer and I I would have read it. And then let's go and read. Fall for red like a oh, while. Wow. But I haven't seen it honestly. Still can't believe your name is now Bob and Jeff. I've got a long way around just to get to this place. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before... Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you. Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you see that thing in the background? I ran out the door. Also, um, I don't I'm talk here in Sebastian. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. That's fine. I'm um, just getting Sebastian things so I can't go make an edit with Sebastian because Sebastian does. Uh, I need to talk to Anne. One second. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bits of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't. Truly. And I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line i do miss hogwarts but i wouldn't mind being in feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now 
between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. Damien Jr. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not dramatic, but also because she's cursed. She got cursed by, um, well, they take a goblin, but it's not a goblin, she got cursed by. Boy, it's luck. Um, but... Sebastian's made up his mind, look what he has. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian. But, um... His mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realises the futility of his search for a cure And they're twins, Sebastian and Anne. Tired. I should probably and she just easily would look after her sister. By. Which is understandable. I wish you well. And this is my character who I love. I'll be back.
Yes, he's back, 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 back again. Oh no, he's back. Yep. I don't know who it is. I want one of your apple. Just drop three on the floor. Oh boy, boy, frame my last nerve. Did you all throw my last nerve? Do you want to Oh, yes, Mr. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? No. How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Surely this thing. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. No. You sound like Sebastian, no. uh, thinking you know better than the healers at some point. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian yeah. is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. That's the only thing to do out. now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not What's what that? he wants to do. He's no, no idea he's the harm man. he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope yeah. you'll remember what I've said. Yeah. Good day. I will not. Why will he not listen to me? Tell me my sister. sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists again. Not yet, I just spoke with Dad. Realize they should not be arrested. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at the tabernacle. Rebellion! They've been digging for something. Thing. Let me explore. Up there, Up there on that plateau, that plateau is where is they where curse down. This way. This way. Oh, Poppy! It's an honor to be a part of it.
I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Rebellion. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And... At Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations Hi, for everything. I'm Wanda. Whose home was this? It's been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was Hogwarts. Goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Loyalists. Uh, 
Oh. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. This well looks familiar. Yeah, hold on. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section, with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Why bother block- Only one way to find out. There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply Lewis. strewn about. Tells me they're after something Rebellion. bigger. Lumos. Journal entry of Isadora's. It seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Confringo! Lumos. Incendio! Confringo! Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me, too. Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. Incendio. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. 
ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. <laughs>